Disney presents... From Frontierland, Zorro. The Postponed Wedding. Starring Guy Williams, guest star Annette Funicello. Can you hold this? I was only testing your love. This program is brought to you by Canada Dry. The face is America. The taste is Canada Dry. Coast to Coast, America's first family of beverages. And the American Broadcasting Company and its affiliated stations throughout the United States and North America. The face is America. The taste is Canada Dry. The taste is sparkling Canada Dry Ginger Ale, liveliest thirst quencher of them all. You'll like this drink. Dry, light, gingery bright. You'll like the taste. Crisp, keen, clean. You'll like the way it renews energy, practically on the spot. You'll like every one of the many delicious Canada Dry sparkling flavors. True fruit orange, tangy grapefruit, old-fashioned root beer, high spot lemon, delicious grape. There's lots more all in big king-size bottles. The face is America. The taste is Canada Dry. Coast to coast, America's first family of beverages. Canada Dry. And now, your Disneyland host, Walt Disney. In 1800, what is now known as California was a Spanish possession. It was Spanish in its language, in its dress, and in its customs. Perhaps the most rigid customs involved courtship and marriage. For a boy and girl in Spanish California, there were no dates at the corner taco shop, no come-as-you-are fiestas or swimming parties at the seashore. The young man involved would put on his fancy sombrero, pick up a box of cactus candy from the local sweet shop, and make a number of well-chaperoned visits at the home of the senorita of his choice. After these visits, if the couple felt they had reached an understanding, the young man would formally ask the girl's father for her hand. If the answer was yes, the boy got the girl and the girl's dowry. This is the Spanish equivalent of a hope chest. It contained gold and sometimes jewels and the deed to certain lands. Our story tonight concerns such a dowry and Zorro. It's a romance. Well, almost. We call it the postponed wedding. Can you tell me? If Pardon me, Carita. Buenos dias, Don Diego. Buenos dias, Carita. Uh, can you tell me whether the coach from Santa Clara has been arriving on time lately? Oh, you can set your watch by it. Never more than an hour late. <laughs> <laughs> Gracias. Mm. Oh, that's Cuco. Oh. Forgive me, Senor. 
Now, may I serve you? Wine. Certainly. Didn't one of you ask a question? You've answered it. We'll need a room. We uh, have to clean up. Yes, and the room first. This way, please. Good to see you. What's it been, 10 years? It's been a very good 10 years for you. Thank you. You've aged rather well yourself. Oh, for me? Thank you. I'll treasure this always. Carry it for me, will you, Diego? Now, the carriage is over there. If you'll show Bernard to your luggage, he'll take care of it. Young senorita supposed to come in on the coach. Have you? Uh... Constancia? <gasps> Uncle Demetrio! Oh, it is so oh. good to see you again. Oh. <laughs> oh, Don Diego, what has happened to our little girl? Don't complain about it, Sergeant. Oh, I'm not Don Diego. I'm not. Uncle Demetrio. I was, uh, just inspecting the kitchen. Uh, Sergeant, we were just going into the tavern. Won't you join us? Gracias, Don Diego. Uh, just as soon as I have inspected the luggage. Are you going to open my luggage? It is the law. But you can't. I am afraid I must. The law says I must search for criminals and contraband. It is a mere formality. <sighs> but I'd be embarrassed. You and Diego knew me as a little girl, and <sighs> now, well... <laughs> Sergeant, Costancia is staying with us at the Hacienda. Uh, why don't you join us there for supper tonight, and uh, then you can study her for uh, criminal tendencies. That should satisfy the law, huh? Oh, see, si, Don Diego. All right, let's go. Uh, oh, oh, Don Diego. Excuse me, Costancia. Isn't Constancia still a little young to be going into the tavern? Oh, she just wants to rest before her ride to the Hacienda. Oh, oh, then there will not be any... No, Sergeant, I'm afraid there will not be any. Oh, well, truthfully, Don Diego, I should finish my inspection. I understand perfectly, Sergeant. Then tonight. See, si, Don Diego. Oh, well, the Sergeant just remembered he had other duties. But uh, he'll join us for supper, shall we? my darling. I didn't expect you to be here when I arrived. Oh, I left as soon as I got your note. Oh. I've made all the arrangements. We can be married right away. Oh, that's just it. Father wrote Uncle Alejandro that I was coming to visit him, so I at least have to go to the Hacienda to see him. All right, very well. 
All right, listen. I'll pick you up at midnight, and uh, don't forget to leave a lantern burning in the window. You are certainly looking well. <laughs> Diego, the most wonderful thing. Diego de la Vega, this is Miguel Serrano. Senor. Miguel and I are old friends. I looked up and there he was. Oh, then uh, are you from Santa Clara? Uh, no. Yes. Uh, well, well, I mean, my home was in Santa Clara, but for the last year I've been living in San Diego. Oh, I see. Uh, won't you join us? Gracias. Uh, Costanza, I'm sorry, but I couldn't find your handkerchief. Oh, I did. I had it all the time. <laughs> Wasn't that silly? <laughs> if uh, you live in San Diego, senor, then uh, you must know my good friend Don Pablo Castillo. Huh? Well, everyone does. Oh, of course, I know him quite well. Well, tell me, uh, does he still have that trouble with his arm? With his arm? Well... Excuse me, Miguel. Diego, I'm afraid if we don't leave for the Hacienda soon, Uncle Alejandro will begin to worry. Yes, um, he is expecting us, isn't he? Uh, you're visiting a relative? No, I just call him uncle. Actually, Don Alejandro is a boyhood friend of my father's. Ah. Well, I do wish we had more time to talk. It's been so long since we've seen each other. Yes, it has. Perhaps we shall meet again someday. I hope so. Goodbye, Miguel. Goodbye, Constancia. Please, both of you. You're breaking my heart. Senor, it would be our pleasure to have you to supper tonight. Gracias, no, Don Diego. I wouldn't want to intrude, Senor. Miguel. Well, perhaps after supper. All right, I will. Good, until then. Sergeant certainly amazes me. Gracias, Don Diego. That the floor is still beneath us amazes me. <laughs> <laughs> Eight o'clock. I'm sorry, but I have to go. Forgive me, Constancia, but I must inspect the carriage from Santa Barbara. Oh, pooh. Now, you're not to keep the sergeant from doing his duty. You uh, wouldn't want Los Angeles overrun by criminals, would you? Oh, all right. I'll walk you to your horse, Uncle Demetrio. Good. Oh, uh, uh, good night, Don Diego, Don Alejandro. Good night, Sergeant.
Uncle Demetrio. <laughs> you know, anyone who overheard Costancia talking about her Uncle Demetrio and Uncle Alejandro might possibly think that you and Sergeant Garcia were brothers. Not by the wildest stretch of the imagination. He's here. He's here. Oh, you will be nice to him, won't you, Uncle Alejandro? What is this, Constancia? A romance? No, he's just a friend. Whom she hasn't seen in a long time. Miguel, I'm so glad you're here. Don Alejandro, may I present Miguel Serrano? It is a pleasure, senor. My house is yours, senor Serrano. I believe you know my son, Diego. Yes, we have met. We have met. Uh, will you not sit down, Senor Serrano? Thank you. Lovely weather we've been having. But for this time of year. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> you have a beautiful hacienda, Don Alejandro. Have you, uh, have you seen the patio? Uh, only to walk through it. It's lovely. Let me show it to you. Yes. Uh, Constancia, we will all show it to you. I am certain you will understand, senor. Constancia's father has placed her in my care while she's in Los Angeles. Oh, Uncle uh, Alejandro. I understand perfectly, Don Alejandro. It is a little chilly out. I think you will need your shawl, Constancia. I locked my door. Force of habit, I guess. Necessary to run. Thank you. Here, I'll, I'll do that. There, my dear. There you are. Uncle Alejandro? Uh, in a moment. What's the matter? through Constancia's belongings. But this is inexcusable. One moment, Father. Constancia is our guest. I think she may be involved in something. What? Perhaps we'll find the answer here. <laughs> well, what is it? For Constancia de la Torre on the day of her wedding with loved grandmother. This is her dowry. So it would seem. Then she is planning to elope with this Miguel, uh, what is his name? Well, I will put a stop to that right now. Wait. You mean I should stand idly by and watch Constancia ruin her life? <laughs> no, thank you. You're not going to solve a thing by rushing out there and shouting at her. I do not shout! I shall merely ask the young man to leave this hacienda. And uh, just how do you propose to explain the fact that you know about the elopement? Ah. Uh. I see what you mean. Well, we have to do something to stop this for her own good. How do we know that it's for her own good? This Serrano seems to be all right. Then why haven't they her father's permission? Why are they sneaking away? Sounds like fun. Diego, this is serious. It isn't yet. And if we can go on postponing the elopement, it may never be. And how do we go about this postponing? 
Well, we don't. Constancia! Shh! We'll have to go into the hacienda and upstairs together. There's one in there.
What is going on there? What will? Vaqueros! Sorrow. Somebody answer me! Manuel! What is going on there? Is America. The taste is Canada Dry. The taste is Canada Dry Orange in big king size bottles. Sparkling light, dancing bright, tangy with true fruit flavor. You'll love it. You'll love all the many Canada Dry sparkling flavors in king size and big family size bottles. There's lively grapefruit. High Spot Lemon, Luscious Grape, Old Fashioned Root Beer, and the liveliest thirst quencher of them all, Sparkling Canada Dry Ginger Ale. The face is America. The taste is Canada Dry. Coast to Coast, America's first family of beverages. Canada Dry. <laughs> Where are you going, Diego? I'm going to Los Angeles. Oh, I may be gone for a little while. I'm, uh, I'm curious about this friend of Miguel Serrano. He never seems to mention him. Uh, wait a moment and you can take this letter with you. All right. I am writing to Constancia's father. Well, you think you should do that? I think he is entitled to know that his daughter plans to elope with a scoundrel. Uh, well, normally, I'd agree with you, but remember, uh, we're not supposed to know that Constancia is planning to elope. And in the second place, uh, we have no evidence that Miguel Serrano is a scoundrel. Evidence? You have only to look at him. Well, Costancia did, and she fell in love. Love. <laughs> well, that's what she thinks it is. Now, for the time being, Zorro is the only one that knows anything about the elopement. Let's keep it that way. Until we can learn more about Serrano. While we are doing this, what is to prevent them from sneaking off? Well, Zorro did postpone the wedding last night, eh? Huh? Yes. All right. I, I still cannot understand how she managed to sleep all the... Good morning, Constancia. Good morning. Diego, will you tell Bernardo I'd like a horse? Uh, why? Uh, you, you going riding? No, I'm baking a cake and the recipe calls for a horse. Well, might I suggest you try a Palomino? It, uh, it would add that little extra something. Never mind, I'll tell him myself. going to Los Angeles, and I'm not a little child that must be led by the hand. Now, just a minute, young lady. You are certainly acting like a child. You storm into the sala without so much as a civil word to anyone and expect everyone to jump when you speak. You're not so grown up that I cannot take you over my knee. I'm sorry, Uncle Alejandro. You should be. If there's one thing I will not tolerate in this hacienda, it is a display of temper. If you cannot learn to control yourself, no matter what the reason. People will think you're a de la Vega. What? Yes, uh, exactly. My dear, you can see how ridiculous anyone looks who cannot control his emotions. Yes, Uncle Alejandro. I hope you enjoy your ride. I love him. He sounds just like Papa. You feeling better? Yes. Can you tell me what's upsetting you? I'd rather not, at least until I get back from Los Angeles. All right, I'll see what's keeping the horses. 
Diego, please, let me go alone. This is something private. Uh, Constancia, I really have to see Sergeant Garcia. Now, I'll tell you what I'll do. We'll both ride in together. And when we get there, I'll pretend I never saw you before. All right? All right. If I hadn't seen it with my own eyes, I wouldn't believe it. My own father. What are you doing? I, I was barely making certain that Constancia's dowry was still here. It, uh, it is. Were you perhaps thinking of moving it? I was. I am convinced that if something were to happen to this money, Constancia would find herself without a suitor. And uh, we would find ourselves with a heartbroken house guest. She would recover. True, but uh, I think it would be more pleasant for everyone concerned if Constancia broke it off. And how do you propose this miracle? I don't know. Uh, perhaps Miguel Serrano will think of something. <sighs> Explanations. Just tell me why you didn't come for me. I did. Huh. I did, but Zorro attacked me. Zorro? Were you hurt? No, but I almost lost you. Oh, that Zorro. I'm going to speak to Uncle Demetrio about him. Wait. There isn't time. Constancia, can you come away with me right now? Right this minute? Yes, I've made all the arrangements. Tonight we'll be married aboard ship. And on tomorrow's tide, we sail for Mexico. Oh, Miguel, how romantic. 
But we'd better hurry. Diego's just gone to the stables. I, I have a carriage waiting. Well, we don't want a carriage. We can travel faster on horseback. Yes, but you'll need your things. You, you don't want to get married in a riding habit. Oh, no. I'll throw a dress into a saddlebag. Oh, wait, wait. I'll, I'll go with you. You'll need your dowry. But it's too heavy. We can get it later. No, we'll need it now. Why? Well, I, I didn't tell you, but, but when Zorro attacked me, he robbed me of every peso I had. How terrible for you. Good morning. Good morning, Don Diego. I um, hope I'm not intruding. Oh, no. Something wrong? No, 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 it's nothing. Don't say that. You could have been killed. Zorro attacked Miguel and robbed him. He did? Yes. You know, that's a strange coincidence, but uh, last night uh, the Hacienda had prowlers, and I could have sworn I heard one of them shout the name Zorro. Prowlers? Uh, didn't you hear anything? No, I was asleep. Bernardo gave me some warm milk before I went to my room. Well, they made quite a racket. Apparently they were, I don't know, trying to steal geese. Oh. And, uh... This morning, under my father's window, I found a ladder and a part of a wagon. <laughs> but, uh, getting back to you, senor, what did Sergeant Garcia say? Uh, Sergeant Garcia? Well, surely you told him. <laughs> no. It's your duty as a citizen to report everything that happened to Sergeant Garcia. Hey, you might furnish him with the very clue that will lead to the capture of Zorro. <laughs> Uh, uh, Costancia and I, were riding into Los Angeles. You can join us. Uh, no, Diego. Uh, it's a long ride out here, and Miguel's horse must be tired. You go ahead, and we'll follow later. Oh, no, we can't spare the time. At this very moment, Zorro may be planning a new crime. I'll get you a horse. What'll we do? We have to go with him. When we get a chance, we'll get away. Well, aren't you going to see Uncle Demetrio? Uh, this is the hour that the sergeant usually inspects the tavern. Oh. Well, what time is it? I have the slightest idea. I thought it was someone I knew. Don Diego! Buenos dias, Constancia. Hello, Uncle Demetrio. Sergeant, you're just the man I want to see. Really? Uh, would you step this way, please? Senor Serrano was robbed by Zorro last night. Zorro? Look, take him inside. He'll tell you all about it and uh, put it on my bill, huh? Gracias, Don Diego. I mean... Uh... Uh, come inside, Senor Serrano. I must have a full report. <laughs> Senor! Senor! Uh, tell me your story again. <laughs> in, in a moment. Carita! One more, please. <laughs> Uh, now then, senor. Excuse me. No, no, uh, you stay here with the sergeant. I see a friend who may have some information for me. About Zorro? Possibly. Oh!
Gracias. Sergeant Garcia, Don Diego wants to see you. Ah, immediately. And Sire will take you to him. Excuse me, Constancia. Uh, don't... Oh, no, you wouldn't. I... Where is he? Right over there. Frontier, where bullets spoke louder than the law. We've done enough talking, Bodie. We're coming in for him. Nobody's taking my prisoner. The Cheyenne Show, a full hour of spine-tingling action adventure on ABC TV. Now pause for station identification. We now continue with the postponed wedding. Senor Serrano? He's going to. Uh, Sergeant, you can take care of that. Ah, uh, see. Si. Will you? Si, Senor Serrano. Well, isn't it 
wonderful? But the ship's deserted. Well, almost. The captain and the crew are having a night ashore, and, and the other passengers aren't allowed on board until morning. But we have special privileges. We're special people. Uh, put them over there. Si, senor. Now, darling, you wait here. I'll row ashore and get the padre, and, and before you know it, you'll be Senora Miguel Serrano. Well, that sounds wonderful. She'll just have to cry until the Capitan comes on board in the morning. Oh. And by then, Ansar and I will be far away in Mexico. Goodbye, senores. It's been a profitable evening for all of us. Miguel. Constancia, darling. I came up to tell you you'd forgotten my dowry. But I can see now you didn't. Not for a minute. I'm sorry, Constancia. You were just after my money. My father was right. You'll find as you grow up that they usually are. I know mine was when he told me I was no good. Didn't you love me? Even a little? You know I did. A little. Anyway, thank you very much for not marrying me. I couldn't. I'm already married. Goodbye, Constancia. Miguel. That was for your wife, poor woman. Wait a minute. You can't leave her here now. She knows we're in on this. She'll tell the Capitan. That is your problem. Throw her overboard. One moment, senores. Zorro. I don't think you should ask the senorita to swim. The night air is too chilly. Beloved, Angel, Constancia, it, it, was, it was only a joke. Please believe me. I, I was only testing your love. Beloved, Constancia. 
Constancia, you, 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 you wouldn't. You know you love me. Beloved. <laughs> I'm sorry I caused you so much worry. I have been very well repaid, Constancia. Diego, I've learned my lesson. I'm going to wait for someone as handsome and as nice as you are. everybody. We'll have to send that to her in another coach. I think it will be safer. <laughs> <laughs> this is Metrical, dietary for weight control, to help you lose weight and avoid regaining it. This is frozen Metrical, a summer treat for dieters. Prepared simply by putting regular Metrical liquid into your freezer overnight. Take it out half an hour before serving and you have a cool, delicious change of pace for your diet. Freezing Metrical adds pleasing new variety to your diet. Each can of liquid makes an individual meal. Metrical helps you restrict calories while providing sound nutrition and appetite satisfaction. As your physician, your best source of counsel will tell you, Overweight not only detracts from your appearance, but impairs health and shortens life. To lose weight and avoid regaining it, try Metrical soon, frozen or liquid. Metrical, the established dietary with clinically proven safety and effectiveness. For your swashbuckling adventure, join us next week in Frontierland. Our program titled Old Acquaintance will bring you another exciting story about that dashing and romantic caballero of Spanish California, Zorro. Of all the people I know, Ramon Castillo is the last man I ever wanted to see in Los Angeles. <laughs> he seemed a very charming man. Oh, he's charming enough. He lives by it. And, and he said you were friends. Rivals is more the word. We opposed each other on the fencing team in Spain. He knows you're an excellent swordsman. He should. I beat him for the trophy. If he should tell anyone that you can fence, the secret of Zorro is over. What is there here that is so special? Diego de la Vega. The only man who ever beat me with a sword. Oh, I've never seen Zorro. Uh, what does he look like? Is he um, my height or Diego's height? Well, I think Zorro is more... Uh... They tell me that uh, he wears a mustache, Sergeant. Now, how does his mustache compare to, let's say, uh, Diego's? Zorro does not have a mustache. Diego de la Vega is Zorro. You don't know that. I don't know. No, uh, no. All right, all right, let's assume that you're right. We can wait around here to prove it. It isn't worth the risk. It is to me. Well, not to me. Suppose I were to tell you that uh, by midnight tonight, I can destroy Zora. Yeah. And, and make us both rich. Tell me. For some rollicking fun, explosive action, and fast-moving adventure, be with us next week when Walt Disney presents Zorro in Old Acquaintance.
with guest star Ricardo Montalban. Ahoy there! Step lively now and come aboard the most glamorous houseboat that never sailed the seven seas. It's anchored at Surfside 6 in beautiful Miami Bay. Headquarters for the three bright young stars of ABC TV's new adventure series, Surfside 6. Troy Donahue as Sandy Winfield II. Van Williams as Ken Madison. Lee Patterson as Dave Thorne and their gal friends. Diane McBain as Daphne Dutton and Margarita Sierra as Cha-Cha O'Brien. I don't like men. Woman, I don't like them. Local custom. Why not get in the swim as these swinging young detectives set out on their exciting assignments? Surfside 6, one of your favorite television hours every week on ABC TV. Tonight's program has been brought to you by the American Broadcasting Company and its affiliated stations throughout the United States and North America. little dog who'll dig right into your heart when you see Walt Disney's new motion picture, Greyfriars Bobby. Such a tiny dog to create such a big fuss. But then Bobby was a special kind of dog with a very special secret. Share the heartwarming magic of Bobby's wonderful secret in Walt Disney's unforgettable new motion picture, Greyfriars Bobby. Bobby.